I'm Kara Jones and I'm from Millard South. When anger comes to visit, she knocks quietly, she comes in quietly, she doesn't visit often and sometimes I wish she did more. I wish she'd knock a bit louder or just barge right in and say I'm here and I'm not going to be ignored. Wish she'd ask for what she wants or just take it. She knows her way around my kitchen and yet she asks to sit. She's polite and it's unsettling. I want her to pull down the curtains, throw all of the china. When anger comes to visit, I never seem to notice grief standing in her shadow. Maybe he's always been there. When grief comes to visit, he's in all of the places that I don't pay attention to. He sits at the top of my stairs. He stands next to my fridge holding his coffee and it gives him no energy. Always existing in my space, but never taking up any of his own. We talk of things that are only skin deep, the sort of shallow that makes me think that he could be Jesus. And I, well, I must be Peter, wading out into this puddle after him. It's unsettling how he laughs at all of my jokes. Grief asks me what I want for dinner. He asks where my cutting board and knife are, the plates, the silverware red eyes, but I've never seen a tear well up. When anger and grief come to visit, we have dinner, we sit, we eat. The excessive quiet seeps into my marrow and it's unbearable, waiting for one of us to interrupt it. And here is where it happens. Anger sighs and grief looks to her, ready to share an empathetic glance, and that is what it always is with him, empathetic glances, and I can hardly stand to look at him anymore because of it, and yet he stays. So instead I look to anger, because there's always something more going on behind her face. But here is where I break. Down, apart, something in me snaps. I do anger's job for her until no china is left, grief's job too until no tears remain, breathe. In the moment after the chaos, I wonder if anger was ever really anger and if grief was ever really grief. I wonder if anger and grief created this being we call myself. Is this not my life story? Some days it feels like it's not, but it's on those days when I am most full of them in their presence that it is undeniable.